Okay, hi guys. Uh, in this video, we are going to see the transport module of Fedina. So, uh, to configure transport in Fedina, we can go to administration and transport. So, we can set uh, routes uh, before adding any vehicles uh, in the transport. So, let's see what is the setting of routes. So, we can uh, add a route. Uh, these will not be appearing for the first time. So, let me add a route. Let's say the route is uh, endpoint 2. So, what is this is? This is the last destination uh, of your cab or your bus from uh, the institution. So, this is the last point uh, where your bus will go. Le you can set the cost. So, from your institution till this point, what is the cost? And you need not select any main route for the first time when you are entering the last destination. So, whenever you are creating a last destination point, which is the end point of the bus or the cab or any vehicle, you need not select any main route. So, I am saving this. Now, in this endpoint 2, I will be having uh, more stops. So, from your institution to your endpoint 2, you may have one more stop. So, let me add that stop. So, let's call it, uh, let's say, destination 1. And the cost till there, let's say it is, it is halfway, so it is 20 rupees. And the last point is endpoint 2. So, main route is actually the last point where your cab or bus will stop. So, uh, in this way, you can create uh, your routes. You can have one, one or two more routes between uh, your institution and at point two, and they will be appearing here. Then we can create vehicles. So again, this will not be appearing for the first time. Let me add a vehicle. You can give a vehicle number, let's say KN, and the route will be, uh, let's say, where, till where will that uh, bus or vehicle be going? So let's say it's going to endpoint 2. Number of seats that are available you can set here. Active or inactive means is this vehicle running? So we can save it from here and it will be appearing here. So we've created a vehicle to uh, endpoint 2, which will be covering destination 1 as well. And then we can allocate the students. So, or students or employees both. So, let us allocate any employee. So, you can select the, uh, let's say E2. We can select some employee and we can click on assign. We can select the main route. So, she is going to endpoint 2 and the destination, whether it is the last point itself or is she stopping in between. So, let's say it is destination 1. The fare will appear automatically as per what we have given while creating the route and the vehicle, we can select the vehicle for that route. So, uh, we can save this. In the same way, we have to assign for each and every student and employee who will be taking that vehicle. And then uh, we can even view the report. So, you can see the report is coming and how many available seats are there in what vehicle number. And when we click on it, we'll be getting more details of who all have occupied the seats in that uh, vehicle. Then we have a transport fee. So, we can in this in the way we did it for hostel, we can create fee collection. So, we can go to fee collection and create a fee collection for the batches. And it will also be applicable to the employees if I take include employee. So, let me create fee collection for uh, this employee that I just add, uh, allocated uh, vehicle to. So, in this case, I need not select a batch because only employee is uh, um, being uh, allocated and we can set the start end date and due date of this fee collection. So, uh, and we can give a date, you know, for our reference, let's say uh, it is 18-11. So, till 18-11, who all employees are um, allocated, are assigned a vehicle will be asked to pay the fee. So, uh, this is how we are creating the collection and then we can even view the collection. So, we can select the employee type and what all collection is applicable to that employee. Now, to be able to uh, pay the collection, so we can select the employee and uh, when we click on it, the fee collection for that particular employee will appear and we can pay the fees uh, for that employee of the transport. So, this is the way, you know, with in which we can even see, we can even see the defaulter. So, if there is any student who has a student or employee who has not paid a particular kind of, you know, the collection which is applicable to them. So, they will be appearing here. Uh, even employee defaulters we can see from here. So, who all employees have not paid the fees, uh, paid the fee collection that were applicable to them. So, after this, uh, you know, after the transport fees, uh, we have done all this uh, about transport. So, we'll be coming up with more videos. Uh, be tuned.